But today we're going to do something super fun and exciting. I'm going to show you my method for drawing a pumpkin. Alright? And we're going to make it look totally 3D. We're going to make it look as round as we can. So here's a pumpkin. It's um, kind of a yellowish pumpkin, but you can make yours orange. Um, but you can see it's round, it's bumpy, and it has these lines on it. Okay, they're kind of not really black lines, just shadows. Really fun. Okay, and it's got a stem in the center. Let's pay attention to some things about these lines. The lines start on the stem. Okay, they all come out of the stem. Straight. They're all, they're, they don't touch each other, no, they all come from the stem, okay? And the pumpkin is not a perfect circle, and the stem is not a perfect rectangle. So, let's pay attention to all that, and let's go ahead and get started with our drawing. Okay, so the first thing we'll need is a paper, and we'll start with a But I want to show you some methods for drawing a Especially if we're trying to make our pumpkin look green and brown. So, one way I see people draw their pumpkin is a circle, a rectangle, and then straight lines all the way. And then it's alright, but it doesn't look real. So, another thing I see is a circle, a rectangle, and curved lines. A little better, it looks a little more round, but it still doesn't look quite real. I also sometimes see pumpkins drawn like this. And that person, if you're drawing a pumpkin like that, you got the right idea, but it's not quite right. The lines are coming to the wrong one last way that I see how people draw pumpkins trying really hard to make it look real. Simple mistake is drawing the lines curving wrong. Kind of looks like a basketball or baseball. So these are all ways that I see people draw pumpkins, and I'm not going to do them today. I'm going to work on making ours look as real as possible, and I'm going to help you. thing is, if it's my name on the paper, don't write my name, write your name. And instead of starting with the round shape of pumpkin, I'm going to start with the stem. And the stem is going to be kind of a bent, curved rectangle. Okay? And I made mine a little bigger at the bottom. Now it's time for the lines. So I'm going to draw the first line that goes from the stem to the bottom of the pumpkin. And it's just straight. Okay? Now I've keep drawing that from the stem to the bottom of the pumpkin. Let's move to the curved line. And over here, the lines are going to curve this way. So I'm going to start on the stem.
part of the stem. You are too. 